Hello guys, my name is Diego Damuna. In case this is the first time to stop by my YouTube channel, please, if you did not subscribe yet, please consider to do it. So in today's tutorial, I'm going to explain how to make an executable or an exe file of your C Sharp project. So I'm going to make a, an exe file of uh, this project that I created. So this project, it's about uh, making an identity code. So let me just try to print out uh, one an identity code here. This is the project I'm going to make uh, an executable file of. Just let me just try to get it big. So yeah, so I'm gonna create an exe file of this project here. All right, let me just try to close it. So basically what you need to do, you need to come up, obviously your project might be open, then you must come to um, your solution explorer here, you select your project, then you click, you select the project, your project, you right click on it and then you come all the way to publish. It's going to prompt a little window here. So basically it's telling you uh, to specify the location you want the exe file that you're about to create to be found or to be located so i'm just going to browse and then i'll go to the project of my computer uh go to disk local local disk c and i come all the way to um the folder name a project and then because it is about identity code i'm going to select this uh okay i think this should be fine here okay i'm going to select this folder then i click on open so by doing this i have specified the location where i want to um to keep the file the exe file of my project then i go to next you click on it it's going to give you three different options here for website and for i mean you, you just have to ignore these two uh, previous options here you can see by default the third option is the one that is already ticked all right so is it fine you go to next and then you got two different options here but you can see by default the second one is the one that is highlighted is the one that is selected so this is the one you have to go for then you click on next also so if it, it gives you this window one more time it's fine so that means that everything is is running smoothly you go to finish it's gonna take a few moments uh, to start building everything and to create an, an executable file for your project. As you can see, uh, this is the, exec the executable file of my project. And then it creates also a setup uh, file or a setup file which can help you to install uh, your software after you've managed to create an executable file all right so let me just try, try to click here i'm gonna go to my computer let me try to do this quickly all right, all right. so i come to dc this pc of my computer i go to local uh this case so remember this is why i put my project under id code we can see so this is the package that you just created so what do you need to do here you need to double click on this setup here so you, by creating an, an exe file you have created a setup which is executable allowing you to now be able to install your software so it's going to give you this this wizard here for installation it's fine you can go click on install then it's going to take a few moments it's depend on how big it's your project so basically mine it's a little bit big just a few seconds and then we'll be good to go all right so we can see that uh, after the installation let me try to close my uh, c-sharp project here yes ask me this question it's fine i'm going to accept all the change that i've made so guys you can see now this is the executable uh uh i mean this is the the software that is running meaning that we managed to create the exe file but we can see that the software has been launched but we don't see that executable file as yet that's very simple let me close here because we already managed to install our uh, setup that i've just created so i'll go to the start button here 
then I'm going to look for the software that we just uh, installed. This is the software that we installed. You can either find it here where it says recently added. So you can find it here or basically after you manage to install your software or your uh, the project that you just created, there should be a folder that should be named uh, same as the name of your project. Remember the name of my project was called ID code. So you can see after I managed to create and to install that uh, software, that, uh, that executable file, I got this icon here, the icon of the project that I just created. So I can click on it. You can see here, but we remember the question was how to create this executable file and to put it on the desktop desktop of your computer so let me close here one more time i'm gonna get back to my windows here then i look for the software just that i just installed so this is the one the simple thing to do is to uh, to click on it and then you drag all the way and you drop it on the desktop so if you double click on it you can see the software is working properly here you can see it is working so if this video was very good for you if it was relevant for you please i'll ask you to subscribe to my youtube channel that's the only way you're going to encourage me to do more in this thank you guys bye